Hi guys, thanks for joining me. I just wanted to do a quick video on another Hot Toys figure that I picked up recently. Uh, I'm not going to even attempt to do a full review on this because it's an older figure and there's already plenty of reviews on this figure out there. But I just wanted to show you this figure because I absolutely love the way that it's done. So, um, I did a video a while ago showing that I picked up a Sand Trooper, but I had problems with that figure. Really, really loose ankles. I returned that figure to the store that I bought it from. Um, I was hoping to get a replacement sand trooper from them, but uh, they said they were sold out. So um, I got a replacement Chirrut Inway figure uh, instead, which I'm still waiting for. Hopefully, it turns up. This is what you see once you remove the lid of the shoe box packaging. You get a um, Artwork into showing the figure in three different poses, and of course, it just slides out. Alright, so this is a very quick look at the accessories. You can see the base and cradle thing there. You've got a, a droid from the uh, special edition versions of the movie, a clear rod, and a, a base for that to display the uh, droid. You've got the replacement. Hands, you've got the belt which I took off the figure, macro binoculars, you've got replacement wrist pegs, you've got pouches coming out the wazoo, you've got uh, three different weapons and they are just stunning. The detail on them is amazing. Uh, some accessories for the backpack and of course the Sand Trooper backpack itself. And here is the figure itself. As you can see, it's before I put all the bits and pieces on, I just wanted to give you a look at the, uh, the paintwork on this. It's Stunning, it really is. Um, the I mean, the design, not the design, because Hot Toys didn't design it, but the uh, the way they've done the armor is brilliant, and the way they painted it is fantastic as well. So, amazing. Don't know how well it's going to show up in my uh, setup here, but the way they've done the weathered look to the armour, the sand I guess. It really is. I don't think this is doing it justice. It, it looks much better in real life to be honest, but um I don't know how they paint these things, but it's like a dirty wash or something like that. I don't know, but um, all the boots, lower leg armor. It really is stunning. Here is the figure with all of the pouches applied, or applied I guess, put on. Um, so I guess this figure is actually based off of the Sand Trooper in this scene. So yeah, this, as I said before, stunning figure, you got the shoulder pouch, you got the waist pouches on either side of the belt. There is a back or bum pouch, whatever you want to call it, at the back, and then you got the backpack as well. The straps are adjustable on the backpack, so I, I think I need to adjust them a little bit more to uh, get the backpack to sit a bit higher, but yeah, fantastic. Now, I, I think this is how I will pose and display my Sand Trooper. It's, you know, one of the more common or classic sort of sand trooper poses or images that you'll see but I think it looks fantastic. Um, that is pretty much it for this video. I'd just like to thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. May the force be with you. And this Saturday in the AFL Grand Final, go the mighty Tigers! Away from Tiger Land, a fighting fury we're from
from Tigerland. In any weather you will see us with a grin, risking head and skin. If we're behind, then never mind, we'll fight and fight and win, for we're from Tigerland. We never weaken till the final siren's gone, like the tiger of all. 